let me tell you something. You never know what type of company you're keeping until you choose God as your Lord and Savior. And I'm going to say that to you again. See, you never know what type of company you are keeping until you choose God as your Lord and Savior. See, what happens is, what's in the dark, God shall bring to light. People can tell you one thing, but their actions can show another. And you know, when you're not in Christ, you don't have the knowledge to pay attention to what's really going on around you. Because you sleep. Your soul is asleep. So you're not paying attention. You continue to walk down the same path. I'm going to tell you something about the goodness of God. See, what happens is... You get to noticing that the closer you get to God, you, you find out more about your surroundings, your environment, the company that you're keeping. Now, those people that tend to fall off by themselves. They'll go on by themselves. They won't continue to try to hold on to you. They're going to move on out the way. But see, they're not going to move on without being angry with you. And you may not know what they're angry about. But see, the enemy is working with them. So that's why they're angry with you. See, they're disliking you with God. Hold up now, because see, y'all ain't hear me. You got to understand that in Christ, there's going to be some changes to the company that you keep. They're going to have bad things to say about you. They're not going to say good things about you. They're going to do mean things to you. They're going to hang up in your face. They're going to do all kinds of stuff to you. But I'm going to tell you something. They weren't for you in the beginning. See, God is just bringing it out now. Your happy place is going to be with God. So stay there. Don't leave him because people don't want you with him. Because, see, they can't die for you and you can't die for them. If they don't like the fact, and there's going to be many, they're not going to like the fact that you're in Christ. If that's the fact, then you shouldn't be hanging with them anyway. You need to be with people who's going to be happy about your change in life. That's where you're going to get your strength from, your encouragement from. Lean more towards God. Stay with God. Trust God. You know, it ain't nothing like coming out and people can see the God in you. So you ain't got to tell them God is in you because they can look at you and they can see the Father in you. See, that's how you want to be. You don't want to be out here where you got to broadcast everybody you a Christian. You ain't got to do that. Because if he's in you, everybody going to see him in you. But I just want you to know that when you're in Christ, don't act surprised when you see the truth about the company that you're keeping. So when they fall off, don't let that hurt your feelings. Let them go. They weren't for you in the beginning. You chose them. God ain't choose them for you. And baby, when I tell you that it's going to be family members also. See, they're going to just be friends. It's going to be family members too. So you've got to be prepared and ready for that. Keep praying. And watch God. Show you the truth from the lies. Keep praying. And watch God shield you from your enemies. Keep praying. And watch your blessings and your breakthrough and your life change. Keep praying and stay close to God. Stay in your safety net. Don't let go.